Hello everyone. Does everything happen when it should be happening? Or what we say, does everything happen at a divine timing in our life? This was the question that someone gave to me after my last video. And I would like to elaborate on that. Because we have talked about soul plans, we have talked about destiny, karma, free will. And this is a very natural follow-up of that discussion. So, what is divine timing? We say that everything has a specific time when it will unfold in our life. And when something does not happen to us, when we are not experiencing what something that we would like to experience, the best answer that everyone around us gives is, please wait. In divine time, everything will happen. God does everything in a perfect time. So what is this divine timing and how does it work? If you really think about it, divine timing is nothing but a reflection of your soul plan. Something that you have sat with your council of elders and your team of light and your guides and you decided that you will experience this when you come down to earth this time. And so you had planned every event in your life, every encounter in your life, every relationship in your life, everything was pre-planned at a specific time, at a specific situation. That is why, dear ones, we have these lines on our hands, even before we are born. Why? Because these lines on our hands depict the soul journey which we have decided on the soul level to experience when we come down on earth. So this is something which is not something, as I said before, which is pushed on us or which was forced on us. It was something that we decided and we planned to experience on earth. So when we have the soul plan, everything happens according to that soul plan and when it happens according to that soul plan we say everything is happening at a divine timing but what is this divine timing this divine timing is the exact point of time which your soul has decided when you will experience this event in your life so sometimes we have experienced marriage at the age of suppose 28 because it was predestined for us before that even if we tried and tried we could not get married suppose we were struggling with our business and suddenly at the age of 35 we became very successful why because we had decided that before 35 we will struggle we will really learn the nuances of the business how it works how it fails what all I can learn to make it successful and at the age of 35 we will reap the benefits of all the struggles and we will become successful. In the same way, name, fame, publication of books, everything is predestined and at a particular time period in your life. But sometimes we forget this. Sometimes we are so eager for things to happen that we implement a lot of external forces to make it happen in our life. Suppose we are not supposed to get married before 28 and at the age of 23 we really like someone, we are really interested in someone and we really want to marry that person. And Everyone is saying that this is not the correct time. So we go to the pundits, we go to the astrologers and we say, give us a pious, give us some remedy so that we can change the time period and make it as per our wish, as per our timing. So what are we doing? We are manipulating our destiny. We are manipulating our predestined soul path with our free will, 
So what are we doing? We are tampering with destiny. We are tampering with faith. We are tampering with the soul path that we came down with. So what happens? We may get married because we have this 35 person free will in every lifetime. But what happens after that? Most of the time, as I have observed, when people have really forced their destiny to work according to their wishes, according to their desires, what happens is things don't turn out to be as good as if you would have wanted it. Because it was not in the soul path. And this was a by track that your soul took out of free will. So your guides are supporting you because they have to support you in the free will because we have been given this gift of free will when we have come down. But we as intuitive human beings can sense when the universe is aligning with us or when the universe is not aligned to us. So something we may be wanting and the universe is constantly showing us signs that it is not right now that we should be having it. But what we do, a desire is so great, so profound, so deep that we reject this indications, this intuitions, this symbols and dreams and everything that the universe is giving us to make us realize that this is not something that we should be doing right now. But what we do, we ignore and what we do, we create a new destiny for us by a free will and obviously it is not supportive to your soul path it is not supportive to your soul journey it is not supportive to your soul lessons because when we sit with our guides when we decide on the soul path when we decide on the soul lessons there is a big meaning behind it as I always say we see the world from a window view. We see a limited version of the view. But when we see it from the higher perspective of the divine, we can see the aerial view. We can see all the pitfalls that are in front of us as we progress in life. But we are so limited to this window view that we refuse to look at the aerial view and we force ourselves to take a decision based on our desires, our wishes, our needs of the moment. So we can interfere with this divine timing by our free will. But another thing is also there. Suppose you had a lot of challenges in your life. Suppose till the age of 38 you were still supposed to struggle and after the age of 42 you were supposed to be financially well off or in a stable position and that was what your soul plan was because you had a lot of past life karmas which you had come to balance out in this lifetime and so you were really really struggling in your life but if you are a person who is living life from the level of the soul who is living life from the level of love and compassion for others for, with the gratitude in their hearts with devotion towards the divine what happens your karmas are cut much before the predestined time and so what happens is if your karmas are over before you reach the age of even 35 what happens your whole life plan gets changed and because of divine grace, because of divine blessings, what you were supposed to receive at 42, you start receiving at 35. This is also how divine will can be changed by the grace of God when a karma is really good. So that is why, dear ones, I always, always insist to you, be very, very, very meticulous what karma you are creating in the current now. What are you doing in the current now which is supporting you or not supporting you? So be very vigilant. Are you desiring something which is just a desire, which is just a need and which may not be something that the universe is wanting you to do? And you are forcing your free will to change the divine timing? 
or are you living life with so much grace so much gratitude so much love compassion and service towards others that the divine is compelled to change the divine timing and give you a lot of blessings a lot of grace before it is even time so i hope my explanation of divine timing was a very self explanatory and i request you all again that i don't understand what exactly would you like to know about what topic so it would be always a help if you drop a comment in the comment box asking me for topics on which you would like guidance this is me chaturupa from kolkata sending you a huge blast of love and blessings thank you everyone thank you